Agriculture in rain-fed areas continues to be a gamble with the monsoon. Uncertain rainfall, intermittent droughts, heat and cold waves, errant weather patterns due to climate change. Rain-fed agriculture in India faces multiple risks and constraints related to biophysical and socio-economic nature. We surely cannot afford to let these uncertainties affect our crops. More so because 40% of our population and 60% livestock depends on rain-fed agriculture. That's where the Central Research Institute for Dryland Agriculture, popularly known as CRIDA, plays a major role. CRIDA, a constituent research institute of the Indian Council of Agricultural Research, started its journey in 1985. Since its inception, it has a clear mandate. Its core responsibility remains to undertake basic, strategic and applied research to develop sustainable rain-fed farming systems. Strengthening our research on climate change, ICAR has assigned CRIDA the national responsibility of coordinating research on climate change and climate variability, identify vulnerable regions and develop effective adaptation and mitigation strategies to reduce these impacts. With close to 70 dedicated scientists, our research covers a vast spectrum of areas related to our mandate. CRIDA has established state-of-the-art infrastructure to conduct comprehensive research across the whole spectrum of dryland agriculture. Two research farms at Hayatnagar and Gunagal. 14 laboratories with cutting-edge technology. The dryland gallery showcases the status of rain-fed farming in India and CRIDA technologies. CRIDA has an enriched library which serves as a storehouse of information on rain-fed farming. The institute is connected to the outer world through the CRIDA website. Armed with this solid infrastructure foundation and highly qualified manpower, CRIDA has several research achievements to its credit. Climate and soil characterization is the first step for effective crop planning in rain-fed agriculture. To ensure this, CRIDA has divided India into moderate and severe drought-prone areas. Based on the rainfall and soil characteristics, regions suitable for mono, inter and sequence cropping systems have been delineated. Also, these GIS-based agroclimatic maps developed at CRIDA help in optimized use of natural resources and understanding pest pathogen distribution. Also, the Crop Weather Outlook website provides regularly updated weather-based agro-advisories along with contingency crop planning for various agro-ecological regions. Rainwater is a precious commodity for rain-fed farmers. To minimize production risks during critical stages of crop growth, it is important to harvest and utilize this resource judiciously. These are percolation tanks that help in recharging the groundwater. CRIDA has successfully demonstrated the farm pond technology to enable small and marginal farmers harvest surplus runoff in their own farm and use it for supplemental irrigation during the dry spell. The institute has developed a number of designs suitable for different rainfall zones and soil types and identified lining material and standardized lifting systems. Farmers of village Palod in Indore have successfully harvested the surface runoff and utilized this water for irrigating their chickpea crop. This enabled them to harvest a good crop, resulting in high remuneration. Rain-fed crops flourish with optimum use of soil moisture. It is also important to conserve the moisture in the soil. 
more so during the crucial crop growth period. Crida ensures this with a variety of techniques, off-season tillage, contour bunding, compartmental bunding, rich furrow cultivation, organic soil mulch, making of conservation furrow coupled with paired row planting and planting along contours. Drought management, quite understandably, is a major concern for rain-fed farmers. Erratic rainfall patterns often lead to drought. The time of occurrence of drought and its intensity are critical for crop productivity. Crida recommends the combination of a host of measures for effective drought management. Soil mulching, paired row planting with conservation furrow, spray of 2% urea during drought, soil application of 10 kg urea after drought relief, supplemental irrigation from harvested rainwater and suitable intercrops in drought prone areas. Crida is also hot on the heels of a transgenic approach to develop drought tolerant crop varieties. We have already identified strains of microbes that can resist the impact of heat stress in crops like sorghum. They are being field tested. Way back in the 80s, Crida launched the watershed management and alternate land use system at the national level. The primary target was to ensure proper use of available water resources. Over the years, this program has transformed into a farmer-centric livelihood approach. The Institute has developed action learning tools like portable rainfall simulator and methods for participatory groundwater and surface water monitoring. Modern tools like remote sensing, GIS and GPS systems are used to plan, implement and monitor the program. Biophysical and bioengineering measures are advocated in the watersheds. Transparency has been brought to social engineering approach by creating village institutions like Salah Samiti that own the program. Farm energy management research at Crida concentrates on two major goals. Timely agricultural operations combined with reduction of drudgery. To achieve this, Crida has developed several farm implements. These are for use by both bullocks and tractors. Our low-cost manual weeder is so popular among farmers that they buy it even without subsidy. Crida has developed methods for soil fertility management and soil organic carbon buildup, integrated use of organic and inorganic manures, mulch come manuring and cover cropping are practices widely accepted by farmers. Our scientists have identified strains of microbes to mobilize phosphorus, zinc and enhance the growth of rain fed crops even under stress conditions. To manage biotic stresses, Crida has developed decision support systems for groundnut leaf spot management, biopesticides like trichoderma and granulosis virus for management of insect pests and pathogens. The institute has developed successful models of agri-horti, horti pastoral and silvi pastoral systems suitable for different regions. A horti pastoral farming system comprising mango intercropped with stylosanthus hamata and sheep rearing has successfully been demonstrated on farmers' fields. Changing climate often has a damaging impact on rain-fed crops. Crida is also conducting pioneering research on vulnerability assessment of rain-fed crop production systems to climate change. Major food crops are evaluated for probable impacts of climate variability by using OTCs and growth chambers. The impact of climate change on insect pests, pathogens and natural enemies are being studied. Crida understands the need to develop adequate and timely technologies that help farmers to realize the maximum potential of their harvest. For this, technology developed needs to reach the grassroots. Under the Technology Dissemination Program, Crida reaches farmers through frontline demonstrations, action research and organizes training programs for different stakeholders. 
These farmers of Ranga Reddy district in Andhra Pradesh are direct beneficiaries of Krida through its Krishi Vigyan Kendra. Krida also provides agro advisories through All India Coordinated Network Project on Agro Meteorology all over the country through its website. Need based contingency plans are provided to the Ministry of Agriculture through its All India Coordinated Research Project on Dryland Agriculture. Location specific applied research is conducted at 25 centers across the country. The NAIP funded mega project on action research for sustainable rural livelihoods in eight rain fed districts of Andhra Pradesh forms a model approach for overall improvement of farm profitability and reduce urban migration. The main strength of CREDA is its uh, large network. We almost work with uh, 25 agricultural universities, uh, both for dryland agriculture and uh, agroclimatology research. Uh, we have launched a new program on climate resilient agriculture, uh, which brings us to the forefront of uh, the science of climate change and also an, an opportunity to address one of the most important and emerging problems the country is facing. And in this program, we are also addressing besides the crops and the fisheries, poultry, livestock and all other sectors which are impacted by this climate change. And hopefully this will give us an opportunity to come up with uh, technologies that will help the farmers to cope with climate change in the near future. Krida's efforts are recognized at national and international levels. We were awarded with the best ICAR Institute award in 1995. In 2010, Krida's scientists made the institution proud by bagging five national awards. We know this is just the beginning of a long journey. We know we can't stop droughts from happening, but we definitely try to minimize their adverse impact on agriculture. We are ready to face the challenge. Ready to convert weaknesses into opportunities. Ready to quench the thirsts of India's drylands each time and everywhere.